Hey, 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 it's Mikey Mike. It's the first time at Sherman Island kiteboarding, and uh, it's a really cool place. It's amazing and windy. It's fun. Check it out. Hey, hey, we're here at Sherman Island. A uh, really cool place. Super windy. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we're right by the kite launch area right here. We're going to take a little walk down to the beach and take a look at it. There's Tom getting ready to go out. This is the way to the beach. This is the down to the beach path, and then there's a way back from the beach path. Tom's on his uh, eight right now. He's fired up. We'll go check the wind meter. Gotta be careful of these bushes right here. Beach path is nice, nice and carpeted area. Gotta be careful when it's uh, warm. There's the wind meter. It's in the red. Dark blue and the red, so it's about 25 to 30, I think. It was a pumping day, I'm telling you. And it's consistent. Tom's up and drive. So it's my turn to get some help from Tom here. He let me borrow his 10 meter. This side is right. This side says, nope, you're wrong. Flip it over kind of thing. Okay, cool. Deep power, press this button, power up, pull it forward. But the back turn has to be tension. And if it's all the way over here, fully powered, all the way down to here, fully deep powered. Okay. But you should, you'd be, you should be okay with here. It's my first time on a dual tone, so uh, Tom helped me out with the bar. Yeah, no, power. <laughs> Plenty of power on this 10 meter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, it's, it seems like it's... Now once you get moving, it's going to be... It's going to go. And then I just push the button. Button to depower, okay. but it looks like you're, you're at the power right now. Yeah, I got, it's going to take me off my feet, which I'm... Yeah, definitely windy. Okay, let's get it. Press the button. So, walk down to the beach on the beach path. It was a nice day, didn't need uh, shoes. And it's blowing. There's a lot of debris around and logs and things to get around, but they have the carpet laid out around the beach, which is super helpful. I'm trying to walk myself backwards towards the, kind of towards the beach area and uh, get down past the logs and, and go find a board. You see a lot of slippers there that uh, people leave <laughs> while they walk down the path and then leave their slippers there. But look at the carpet, you know, you can kind of make your way across the logs and some sandbags there. And then I parked my board, already uh, restaged it. So I'm going to walk myself up the beach here. And uh, this is my first time getting in the water here. I watched a lot of people and, um, and I watched the videos before I even came out. And I saw some people body dragging, so I'm going to figure I'm going to walk up the beach a little bit and body drag out. But it pulled me straight down back towards the kind of wind meter area where that little clump of bushes are down there, which was bad uh, to get started. So basically just walk out the best you can and then water start from, from the highest point you can and it'll get you around that point. I was having a little bit of difficulty, uh, but that's okay, I made it around the corner even on this 10 meter kite, which was amazing. Uh, this dual tones kite was really cool and I really liked the quick quick uh, set bar uh, with the button uh, D power which that was really cool I like that I'm, I'm typically used to a Cabrina uh, kind of setup with the uh, cleated system uh, sometimes it's hard to reach for that cleat and this was super easy to power D power uh, on the fly so I got my Edmondson's board here got my surfboard with straps and uh, these it's a it's a riverish kind of area here and the wind uh, it's a, a flood tide so the tides coming in and it's really getting a lot of waves going here and the winds pumping about 30 miles an hour and uh, so I'm starting to body drag it I can't go up so I'm going sideways which is not good so I'm like hey this is not good so I stop 
Hey, I, maybe I'm doing something wrong because this, this is kind of my weak side to body drag on. And I'm already where I started from, uh, where I came down the beach from. And uh, I'm going to try it one more time. And I can hear Tom hollering at me, just get on the board. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I stop right here and uh, get on the board. And I'm pretty far away from the shore. I mean, as in not far, but uh, but as soon as I dive the kite, it pulled me right into the shoreline. And there I am, right almost on the shore. And here we go. And there's the point, and there's the pucker bushes, and everything. And I make the transition. And this is amazing because I'm 250 pounds on a 10 meter kite on the delta and this is awesome i'm having a great time and i'm cutting up wind and i'm making it and this dual tones kite is super fast and uh, i was able to kind of make through move through the transitions here and uh, work these swells oh my gosh there was a lot of swells going and they're super tight so there's not a lot of uh, distance between them but i was able to make it <laughs> And uh, I was powered up. I was uh, probably just one or two clicks from the center line on the power and uh, right in the middle of the bar, which I think I had it set pretty good. Uh, and I was able to move the kite up and down super fast to gain a lot more speed if I needed it. So I'm trying to work my way to the uh, about three quarters of the way across the, the river here. A little bit of traffic around me. That's okay. We're doing pretty good. And I'm just panicking that I'm not going to make it back to where I started from. So uh, I can't transition yet. So once again, I have to jump off the board and spin it around. A little traffic in the area. So I make the, <laughs> make the turn. That was great. And I try to get the board back on my feet. I got to do the fat boy trick and kind of swing my leg up and push the board away and uh, all hell's breaking loose so I almost lost it but didn't which was good we're gonna try it again so I got the board on my feet dive the kite and uh, actually I Kind of got pulled over the board which was uh, kind of crazy I, w I wasn't thinking that it was going to happen especially on this 10 meter but i was able to dra body drag quickly back to the board but uh, all this time i'm floating down or basically up river which is weird is the wind direction and uh, it's a flood tide so it's coming in uh so dive the kite and try to get back up and uh Okay, we're back up, and we're back down. Oh no, what's going on? I'm losing all this ground, I'm panicking, and I'm not gonna make it to the uh, the beach again, and I'm gonna end up in the rocks or the windsurf spot or the pucker bushes. Uh, Sherman Island, it is tricky right here, so it's definitely an intermediate kind of spot. Uh, I, I wouldn't suggest beginners coming out here if you can't go upwind, so uh, if you feel pretty confident you can get upwind, you could do it. Uh, so I'm working with the click bar here. Uh, it was a little powered up, so now I'm about in the middle, and because you can see the uh, headers hitting the the water there, and I can feel it. It's pumping. So uh, I depowered the kite just a little bit, and I was able to drag and just trying to work through some more swell and traffic. And I come across the Windsor Beach here, and then I start getting my groove on a little bit. And able to cut up wind and I can see where I took off from so this is awesome so uh, tr to make sure I save Tom's kite it was so awesome that he let me borrow this kite for the day or not actually for the for the run and <laughs> probably let me use it for the day but uh, I was I was too scared uh, to uh, ruin his brand new uh, dual tones kite thing was awesome super fast uh, super cool a lot of power on his 10 meter so I'm making it back into the beach and now there's these big wood pillars oh my gosh they were huge and uh, all the logs I 
<laughs> there's a lot of obstacles that you got to deal with coming into the beach so i was able to depower the kite get myself uh, back to the beach and i'm like you know let's let's power back up just a little bit felt a little weak grab the board now i gotta get it up to the beach so i can uh make my way back up the, the walking path and uh i didn't want to drop the kite into the pucker bushes so I was worried about the board, and I kind of chucked it up onto the uh, the wood blocks here, which probably wasn't a great idea, but uh, it still made it. So a little more power here, and then I think I'm a little overpowered. I got to make it up the transition through the uh, sandbags and the carpet, and I thought I was depowering, but oh yeah, no, I'm powering. So I got to depower it one more time. Some clicks, depowers the kite, climb myself up. And now you got to remember there's a path to the beach and there's a path away from the beach. So you got to make sure you go to your right uh, to get yourself back towards the, uh, the landing zone. There's a little exit sign there that says exit this way. So follow the exit path. And uh, there's pucker bushes and uh, blackberries all over the place. And those things have some major thorns. So here's a exit area. So just follow the exit sign. And watch out for the blackberries. There they are. And those things have some serious thorns on them. You get to drop your kite in one of these things, you are going to get shredded for sure. And there's so many other bushes and things you got to deal with. So be careful. Make sure you keep your kite uh, high but still kind of powered and um, not too high so it doesn't you know wrap up on you and just loft out uh, they everybody stacks their kites off to the side here so I'm gonna walk myself up all the way across and then land in the lulled area and Tom caught up to me and uh, was able to land the kite real quick he's on his one wheel over there and uh, it's awesome it's a nice grassy area it's, it's not too bad on your feet uh, looks like they have this well maintained right here at Sherman Island it's great great kiting community this is an amazing trip I had a great time uh, even though because I brought my 14 and my 17 meter which <laughs> you know, I couldn't even like pull it out of the car oh so. that was awesome thank you sorry it was just a short run but I didn't want to screw up your kite and then I saw how treacherous it is if you don't make it. I almost yeah. hit the point going out. I was like, oh yeah. shit, here comes a wave. Ah! Yeah, don't fly drag. Just like, as soon as you walk out, just water start eating. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't like, want to hurt anybody on the beach either. So. I didn't yeah. believe how much power that tent had. Oh, yeah. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Well, but it's windy too, so I'm not, I don't think well, I'm used to wind either. So. Well, it's a, it's a little bit of both really though. Yeah. Um, smaller kites just generate much more power the yeah. faster you go with them. I was able to dive it pretty quick and go, and I'm like, whoa. I mean, I when I was riding, I was, I was pretty high, but it was, and I kind of sunk back in the water, but I had enough speed to quickly dive the kite and keep going again. Yeah, no, and that's got, actually a really good launch in there. Those are good? Well, it's a very extreme launch. I've seen some pretty bad ones. Here. Go ahead. But ones. it's interesting when you walk down the trail, how much, how much power you have on the kite, and then when you get to the beach, you get the wind, yeah. but the kite doesn't change. It, it's, it's, it's weird. Insane. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different. Like, you, like the kite feels what you're supposed to be feeling, but because of this, like, shaft, like Yeah, you don't, you don't feel, feel it. it. And I thought once I hit the corner, it would, it's going to be more powerful than nothing. It just stayed the same. It was pretty cool. All the winds, they are the kite winds. Yeah. The Sherman Island, really cool. We're going to walk around the park a little bit. This is where you uh, actually want to, if you're going to spend the night, it was $12.50 to spend the night uh, f uh, from 6 oh, till the here. next day. Uh, that's the uh, host camper right there. And they had some little raccoons in the bottom, which I wasn't prepared for. And uh, those little guys were cool. I walked off the step and they were right there. And I was like, wow, that is awesome. You don't get a lot of those in uh, Southern California. And uh, this was the bathroom. I actually had to go in there and look. They had a little reading section. Uh, you can share a book with people. Uh, I was expecting a little outhouse. And uh, yeah, pretty cool that thing spot, Sherman Island. was pretty pretty cool looking. Uh, we're heading back towards the beach. Uh, it's about, oh, what time is it? Almost 8.30. People are still out kiting. Wind is still cranking. We'll go check the wind meter. Let's see what, uh, <laughs> how straight out it's looking. 
So the wind meter is parked up in the bushes. There's a little wind block here when you're walking, but when you get past this little tree line, it gets windy. So once again, the wind meter is parked up in the bushes, and it is blowing like crazy. Just climb it's up a little cracking. area. It was a great trip. Hey, nice. this is Mikey Mike. Make sure you leave some comments down below. First time in Sherman Island. All right, man. Hope you had a good, good uh, video here. Peace.